Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucy and I'm an Associate Solutions Architect at Amazon Web Services. Today I'll be taking you through what a day in my life looks like working from home. My alarm wakes me up at 8.20 and after hitting the snooze button, I slowly get out of bed to wash my face, brush my teeth and get dressed. These days I find myself having the same breakfast every day. Overnight oats with blueberries. I sit down to enjoy my food and start checking my emails and Slack messages. It's 8.50 now, which means I have my first meeting of the day, a 10 minute catch up with an intern in my team. I'm her onboarding buddy, so we catch up every morning to chat about what she's working on and what she needs help with. After the call, I take a very long five second walk to my home office area and plug my laptop into the monitor. I have a few more meetings today and one of them is a customer meeting where they would like some help with understanding the features of Amazon QuickSight, a business intelligence service offered by AWS. I spend the next 45 minutes doing some preparation for the customer meeting by reading some blogs and documentation about Amazon QuickSight. All right, so the customer had a few questions around the QuickSight features and uh, some of the features that they mentioned, I thought it would be best for me to do a bit of a demo to show them how it actually works. So what I've done is I built out an example dashboard and during my call with the customer, I'll be able to walk through some of the features by sharing my screen. Time went by really fast and now it's time to head to my next meeting. I have a one-on-one -on -one with a new solutions architect who joined my team this week. We introduced ourselves, talked for around half an hour, and I shared some tips on how to make the most out of the first few weeks of the role. I have around half an hour before my next meeting, so I replied to some emails and Slack messages from earlier today. At 11am, I have a meeting with my manager and we talk about what I've been working on. This is a regular catch up we have every two weeks and I find it to be a really good chance to ask questions and make sure I'm on the right track. It's 11.30 now and I head to the kitchen to have some lunch. What I love about working from home is being able to make my own healthy meals instead of having to spend lots of money buying my lunch. Today I'm making a salad bowl filled with lettuce, cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, chickpeas, lemon and a spoonful of Greek yogurt. Seasoned it with some salt and pepper and headed to the kitchen to eat my lunch while watching some YouTube. After taking a one hour lunch break, I head back to my desk for some final preparation before my customer meeting at 1pm. I do some research on the company, their previous interactions with AWS, and come up with some questions to ask them during the call to better understand their interest in using QuickSight. It's time to meet with the customer and we start off with some introductions since this is our first conversation. Because I'm still quite new to engaging with customers, I have asked another solutions architect to join the call and provide me with some feedback afterwards. Okay, so I've just had the meeting with the customer and did a bit of a debrief as well with the solutions architect. I think they really liked the demo and were able to help them answer most of their uh, questions and concerns. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be sending up a follow up email um, with some links and resources so that they can get started with using Amazon QuickSight. Okay, so it's three o'clock now and there's a workshop running for the solutions architect summer interns. A couple of grads and I decided to organize a series of Q&A panels, technical workshops and lunch and learn sessions for the interns over the summer. And we've been taking turns hosting the different sessions. Today's workshop is about one and a half hours and I decided to tune in with some popcorn. All right, so at five o'clock, I finish off my work for the day and head outside for a walk. I try to leave the house at least every second day to make sure the days don't blend in together as we continue to work from home. At six o'clock, I head home and start cooking. I moved out of my parents' house a couple of months ago and I've been trying to make my own lunch and dinner every day and not order Uber Eats. Some days I just cave in and order fried chicken, but today my fridge is looking pretty full so I'm definitely gonna be making my own dinner. Today on the menu, we have salmon with pasta and broccoli. I air fry the salmon and broccoli, adding some soy sauce and cook my pasta on the side. I eat my dinner before it gets cold and turn on Netflix to watch another episode of Manifest. It's about a family that gets split up and end up boarding different airplanes, but one of the planes suddenly vanishes and reappears on the ground five years later. It's pretty interesting, I recommend checking it out. After washing the dishes and cleaning the kitchen, 9 o'clock is just me lying in bed watching more Netflix before getting ready for bed. Okay, so that was a day in my life as an Associate Solutions Architect at AWS. I'm just trying to edit the video right now so I can get it published, but I wanted to say, please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about the AWS Solutions Architect role, um, or any video suggestions as well, leave it down in the comments below. It really helps me out. Alright, bye for now.